Hi, Paul here from Photogenius. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a lens that outsells every other lens in the world. What is it? It's the Nifty 50. Welcome along. In this video, I'm going to be talking about one particular lens. And this is a lens that if you're an enthusiastic photographer, you should consider picking up. It's a great lens and I'm going to be talking about the benefits of this lens, what it can do for us and the way in which we can use it to affect the look of our photos. So this is the 50mm prime lens, often referred to as the Nifty 50. And this lens is absolutely fantastic for a number of reasons. Now it's worth mentioning that I'm going to be using Canon and Nikon products to make this video. But if you've got a different camera type, please stick around because the information will also apply to you. You can buy these lenses for lots of different cameras. Maybe you've got a Sony or an Olympus or a Pentax or a Fujifilm camera. If so, stick around, watch the video. Now my first camera was a film camera and it had on the front a 50 millimeter fixed lens, exactly the same as this Pentax camera over here. The 50 millimeter fixed lens was pretty much standard kit back in the day. Nowadays, you're more likely to have a digital camera, of course, and the standard kit lens now is pretty much the 18 to 55 millimeter zoom, such as the one we've got on the front of this Nikon D3400. Back to the Nifty 50. Now you may be unfamiliar with the term prime lens. A prime lens is a lens which is fixed at a particular focal length. It has no zoom. So if you want to get closer to your subject when using a prime lens, you simply move the camera closer to your subject. If however you want a wider view or you want to get more in your frame, you take a few steps backwards. Now if you've got a kit lens like this 18 to 55 millimeter lens on this Nikon, you may be wondering, why am I going to be interested in a 50 millimeter lens if I've already got that covered? This is an 18 to 55 millimeter lens, so you already have that focal length covered. So it's a fair question. If you've got a zoom lens and you adjust the focal length to 50 millimeters and take a picture, but then replace this lens with a fixed 50 millimeter prime lens and take a picture, what would be the difference? Well, there'll be none. In terms of focal length, the two lenses would be the same. So you would see the same view through the lens. But what the 50 millimeter prime lens may lack in terms of zoom, it more than makes up for in terms of aperture. Maximum aperture on this lens is f1.8 compared to a maximum aperture of f3.5 on the average kit lens. Now, if you're not too sure about how apertures work and how the F numbers work, here's a brief explanation. As you can see with this Pentax lens, the aperture is simply a hole within the lens that can be adjusted and allow us to control the flow of light passing through the lens. A small aperture, often referred to as closed down, will let less light pass through the lens. This is given a large F number, which we'll see displayed on the camera's LCD screen. A good average is around 36, but this will vary depending on the lens. A larger aperture will of course let much more light pass through the lens, and confusingly this is given a smaller f number, which for most kit lenses is around f3.5, but in the case of the Nifty 50 is f1.8. So now we know the 50mm lens has a really wide aperture, but you may be wondering what is the advantage of having this large aperture? Well there's two key advantages here. The larger the aperture, the more light we can get down the lens. And this is important because the more light we get down the lens, the faster the shutter speed can be. And this is important when you're doing handheld photography. If we use a faster shutter speed, you're less likely to have handshake ruining your photos. Plus, a large aperture can give us a shallow depth of field. Now this is photography talk for a blurry background or foreground. And depth of field is controlled by a number of things, including how close you are to your subject and also the focal length of the lens you're using. But aperture is the key one. And having the 50 millimeter prime lens with its maximum aperture of f1.8 is a huge bonus. Now for some really great news. If you shop around, you'll find that the 50 millimeter F 1.8 lens is one of the cheapest lenses out there. And if you wanna know more, check out the show notes below the video. Just click on show more. So now let's look at five good reasons why the Nifty 50 should have a place in your camera bag. 
value for money, blurry backgrounds, fantastic performance in low light, as well as being a compact and lightweight lens, are just some of the reasons why the Nifty 50 is so popular. So is the Nifty 50 the king of lenses? Well, in terms of value for money, it can't be beaten. In terms of sales, it's the biggest selling lens in the world, so I think it reigns. Of course, there are better lenses out there, but they cost a lot more money. There's lenses with wider apertures. There's lenses with better build quality. But in terms of value for money, you've got a long way to go to beat this one. And for that reason, I think the Nifty 50 is the king. So if you've enjoyed this video, please show us some love and give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. New videos coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See ya.